welcome Banyana Banyana from uh, Morocco. They beat the best, they're the best of the best. Long overdue. They, we won the cup. It shows you. Destiny can be only delayed, but never denied. They are women. What did you first? What did you first? We are here to welcome Banyana Banyana. They've done us proud and we are so happy. We woke up early in the morning to come and wait for them. And it's a message to South African football that the national teams must be led by local coaches. Because you cannot send an uh, opponent or whoever comes from other country to come and lead us to win us something. So we must take an example from the women. Men must be led by local coaches. around women's sport. In South Africa, men receive broadcast revenue 2.8 billion, 1.4 billion, 600 million. Do you know how much Banyana gets in broadcast revenue? Zero. Absolutely nothing. Banyana matches has no value. So these are the issues that we have to address. And therefore, we must work together to address this disparity between men and women in sport. On the African continent, Sierra Leone became the first African country to pay men and women the same after an, an agreement between the government and the Sierra Leone football. Brazil now is paying men and women equal. Norway has followed that route. England has gone that route. It is time that South Africa follow that route and we, we are going to meet with our national executive to address this question. And I hope that other codes will follow SAFA in addressing gender disparity when it comes to remuneration and bonuses. So while we celebrate, we must also recognize there are challenges that we are ready to meet and we will call you again when me and the minister we sign that agreement and we'll announce to you that Bafana Bafana and Banyana Banyana will be paid the same from now on. You know this team, this team is incredible. These players are amazing. Before we even left for the tournament, we had a meeting and I asked them, what are your ambitions? Jermaine Zipposenwa said, we want to win AFCON. I said to Jermaine, first the World Cup qualification. She said, no, if we win AFCON, we qualify for the World Cup period. So they were so confident. Our president, Dr. Jordan, always says that we must bring hope to the nation because back home, I know you were going through load shedding. And some of you, and some of you might not have seen the game, but we felt the love and we felt the support, but most of all, we felt the praise. And when we walked, when we were driving to the stadium, people were walking. And when we got there and we got inside, the stadium was packed. But this team, they were not afraid. They came there to take their trophy. They came there to take their trophy and they were magnificent. <laughs>